Good Friday morning, everybody. Made it to the end of the week. Hopefully, everything's going well for you. It's been a busy morning already for myself and going to be a busy day coming up throughout the rest of the Mid-South area. Very much on the hot side once again, as we see temperatures well above normal for this time of the year. Numbers heading back way above into the lower 90s, unfortunately, again. So we are going to be seeing some pretty warm conditions out across much of the Mid-South. Heading into the weekend, pretty hot conditions coming our way and more possibilities of showers and thunderstorms lurking out there toward next week, but also some cooler temperatures. So that should be looking pretty nice out across much of the area. Currently not seeing a lot of major activity again for right now. We are seeing a little bit of some breeze, but not that much. Looking at winds at about maybe four to five miles per hour in and around the Memphis metro area. So far, just not really seeing too much of anything in the way of major league cool weather either. A little cooler in northwest Tennessee right now, back into around the area of northwest Tennessee and into around areas of Dyersburg, temperatures in the lower to mid-60s there, mid-60s around northeastern, east-central Arkansas, northern Mississippi, mid to upper 60s so far, and that also includes right back on over into and around the Memphis metro area, numbers back into the mid to upper 60s so far this morning, and not seeing too much of anything to worry about in the way of rainfall out across the area, so which we could get a little bit more of that to cool us off, but just not happening anytime soon. 364 days until the next autumn equinox. Not seeing anything, again, from the major amounts of cool autumn breeze out there. But here's something else to think about. We are also almost on the way to our next season, 88 days until winter. We're going to be losing daylight until that period of time. And we're already seeing, again, a pretty good amount of daylight being lost. Right about now, sun rising here in the Mid-South, sun right over the Western African Horn area. And then back over to around South Africa and sun setting back over toward India and back toward Thailand in that location. For today, we're going to be looking at 12 hours, 5 minutes worth of sunlight. And as of right now, the moon is going to be rising a little bit later on today. And that is going to be already up, I should say. And it's about half uh, full, filled right now a waning crescent. It's going to be making its way back toward the new moon relatively soon. Not that much going on on radar at this time. We are seeing, again, some decent amounts of clear skies across much of the area, and we'll continue to see that throughout the rest of the day today. Again, numbers not doing too bad out there. So far, pretty quiet across much of the Mid-South. We're not getting anything in the way of rainfall anywhere in the area, so definitely good news on that or points beyond. If you'd like to see this, our interactive radar site, go to wreg.com slash weather and click on interactive radar, and you can get exactly the same view here. Mississippi River is cresting. It's been rising for the last couple of days, expected to do a slow, steady fall into and through the weekend and into next week. Hazardous weather from the National Weather Service, nothing major taking place, so we don't have anything to show you in the way of major thunderstorms or any other problems to report, so good news on that. A few of our webcams from the Weatherbug Network, Cotton Exchange Camera overlooking the Mississippi River. Things are quiet so far and no major visibility problems out there. Likewise, Baptist DeSoto camera, I-55, and Goodman Road at this time. Things are moving along. School getting underway with mostly clear skies at Power Center Academy in south-central Memphis. Windy Country Club, the golfers and the grounds crew out and about. Looks like some dew on the grass and maybe some patchy, hazy ground fog out there somewhere. And a beautiful view from Germantown City Hall as sunlight strikes the water tower across from Germantown. Town High School out there. I'd like to see all these weather bug cameras. Go to wreg.com slash webcams for more information from the Weather Underground System, a beautiful view of Rhodes College in Memphis, and weather information as well as a camera from Jet Jock in and around the Collierville area. Showing 67 degrees, almost 68, calm winds and high humidity, a decent recipe for fog out there. No warnings for the Mid-South area, nothing taking place in the way of major problems. Matter of fact, we've got high pressure in control, not really seeing, again, a lot of major changes in the weather. We've got a front back to the north of us 
which is going to be causing some showers and thunderstorms back across the Mississippi Valley, the Great Lakes, and all the way back out into the Rockies. But for us, chances of showers and thunderstorms will be sticking around the Gulf Coast. High pressure is going to keep things sunny and very much on the dry side as it has over the course of the last couple of days. A few clouds in the afternoon, but beyond that, just really not that much going on. Into the rest of the day today, high temperature is going to be going back into the lower to mid 90s mid 90s for the metro area good possibility out there and heat index numbers are going to be way up there once again we'll be looking at some very uncomfortable numbers for the day mid to upper 70s for the metro area tonight friday night football looks good no rainfall hardly any clouds and temperatures in the metro in the mid 70s mid to upper 60s for friday night football kickoff temperatures later on tonight saturday's highs back into the mid 90s once again and sunday's high temperatures not much better lower to mid 90s now by sunday Sunday night, we see the possibility of stray showers and thunderstorms popping up, and then more chances of some clouds and rainfall on Monday will bring us some nicer temperatures, upper 70s to lower 80s. So that'll help to kind of cool things off Excuse me, by just a little bit. Into the seven-day forecast from the News Channel 3 Weather Center. Sponsored by Chuck Hutton Toyota. Numbers back in the lower 90s, mid to upper 80s by Monday, and upper 70s for highs, as we've been telling you about for Tuesday and Wednesday. Maybe not the low 70s we were telling you about a few days ago, but at least that'll be a nice little change on there. You can also access this forecast at WRHE.com. Spotter training schedule, new spotter training classes announced. And if you'd like to know more about this, next one coming up in Benton County in Ashland, Mississippi in the next couple of weeks. Find out more at WRHE.com slash weather and also at the National Weather Service in Memphis. Hurricane problems, not much going on. Looking at Carl and Lisa out into the Pacific. Carl is starting to re-strengthen. It is now a tropical storm once again. Lisa a little bit farther off, just off the coast of Africa and going to continue to move that direction toward out into the open ocean. That does not look to be a major threat at this time. Another storm system out into the coast of Africa moving off into the Atlantic. So far, a 0% chance of anything developing, but that could change over the weekend. So stay tuned to News Channel 3, and we'll keep you updated on that. Check out my Facebook page at facebook.com slash austinonicwreg. Drop by my Twitter page at twitter.com slash aonic underscore wreg3. And Instagram, available at Instagram. Instagram.com, Aonic, no underscore necessary, WREG3. If you'd like to check out and see some of the pictures that people have sent in, and you can do the exact same thing, all you have to do is email them to me at austin.onic at WREG.com or post them on Twitter, again, Aonic underscore WREG3. Instagram or Facebook, either way, if you send me something, we'd love to know about it and post it out there for everybody else to take a look at. So please send them along to me. We'd love to see what your photographic work looks like and get a chance to show it to everybody and some great pictures out there so far. If you haven't seen some of the work that some people have been doing out there, uh, the one in the middle, Sunset at Patriot Lake, Jonathan Chu, violinist uh, for different rock and Christian bands out there. Great shot right there. And Trey Cool, K-U-H-L, has been sending in some pretty nice ones. This one from the upper decks of Le Bonner Hospital, looking out over downtown Memphis. Some gorgeous pictures. And that sort of abstract one on the right, that's mine. I took that from the, the House Onic backyard and used the Prisma app. So a lot of neat things you can do with the pictures. And if you have the opportunity to do so, please make certain you pass those along to me and so we could show them everywhere else. I'll have your forecast again. Again, coming up throughout the rest of the day online and into tomorrow as well throughout the rest of the weekend. Stay tuned for my forecast on News Channel 3. Lots of football this weekend, so stay tuned to News Channel 3 online as well. From the home office of the News Channel 3 Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining me for Friday morning's edition of our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime.